Converting songs to work in Paradiddle can be easily done with just a few pieces of free software. Easily, easily just done. Pieces of free software. Easily, just a few pieces of free software. Easily, just a few pieces of free software made to easily convert songs to work with Paradiddle. But you'll need more than just a song file to get started. These can sometimes be found easily by searching for the song title with stems or drumless at the end. But oftentimes, this is not the case. If you cannot find the required tracks, there are some online tools that can help. Next, we'll need a MIDI track of the drums. No. Again, you can no. often find these by- No. I'm gonna stop you right there. All right, so there is already a video on this. It's already out. You may have seen it. You may have not. Very well made. <laughs> Much higher quality than anything that I could ever hope to achieve or care to. Sam has the most majestic tutorial voice I have ever heard in my life. God, I wish I could sound that crisp. He's a really cool guy. I'm going to say that first. But after watching this video, I realized that this is your fault, Sam. Sam, how could you do this? In that video, there's a lot of missing information and misleading information. A lot of this is complicated, so it's not a bad video. I just want to start out by saying that. I mean, no disrespect and all that jazz. It's just like, what do you mean? There's more information on the website. There's more information in your video than there is on this glorified link to app. Ugh, all right, let's get this fucking over with. So from the top, air utilities, uh, fucking go ahead and grab it right here. Uh, it's a free software. Uh, if you want to read through this, you can. I'm not going to. Although, if you will for me, in your mind, replace song creator with song converter and it, it'll make much more sense. This is not the song creator that is pair edit. This is the song converter. Song creator. Song converter. Song creator. Song converter. Pair Utilities allows you to take a song file from another game and import it into a working track in Pair Diddle. You can find a lot of these on PairDB.net. Tons and tons of imported tracks and it's also where you might find a lot of customs if you were looking for a way to expand your paradiddle library this is where you want to go god i love when greenstein posts more tracks grant greenstein green greenstein hold on one moment let me just there's a new feature with pair utilities now that lets you connect your quest to to your computer and send midi from the device to the paradiddle companion app and this you can route to Anything you want, a drum machine. If you want to open your garage door via a snare drum, you can. If you wanted to write drum tabs with Paradiddle, you can. Or more appropriately, if you wanted to change the drum sounds in game to anything you want, you can. And even cooler than that, if you have your own MIDI pedal and wanted to use your, your MIDI pedal in the game, I use a set of Dr. Seuss books. If you, you want to use your kick pedal, to trigger the kick in game with your quest two, you can't. It it only it only sends it only sends MIDI. It doesn't receive a MIDI. I, although it'd be a lot cooler if it did. But that'll be in another video. How to make Paradiddle even more better. So anyway, its main purpose is to convert other songs from other games with their files with their mid files to convert it into a working Paradiddle track. So whenever you have a song creator app. <laughs> I mean, the song converter. Just keep in mind whenever you're using this. If you'd like to select a custom drum kit. Do not use your own drum kit. I know you can uh, you can select your own drum kit and customize it however you want. But if you do not have enough drums on your kit or you do have too many drums on your kit, it will not convert correctly to that drum kit. Pair Utilities uses a very specific MIDI profile that it has to match the drums that they're already assigned to within the software. If you have Visual Studio, you can edit these files simply by changing the MIDI values here. Don't touch anything else. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, it's okay. You can literally just change these numbers to correspond with the MIDI that's in that file. And all this is a lot of information and all this you don't need to know. Uh, watch my other video where I show you how to do this with Paradid, which is so much easier. The default kit that it comes with, it has every drum that you, that you were going to need for any of these games. They only have four lanes. So just use the default drum kit. So over on the top right, Go ahead and click the little three dots. Search for the MIDI file that's in that folder. So here's on my desktop. And then you should see, just see the MIDI file and go ahead and open that up. And then um, it may have multiple tracks in it for the different instruments. It automatically went to the drums, but just in case it doesn't, um, double check to make sure that it says part drums. Uh, if it is a phase shift file, you may see pro drums or true pro drums or whatever the fuck. I would go ahead and try to convert one and then come back and convert the other one. Sometimes it's one or the other. It's hit or miss. Go ahead and select the expert track first. Not all customs have easier modes. Like most of Paradiddle customs, they will only have one expert anyway. So we'll just start with expert. Um, accent notes, ghost notes, why not? I don't see any reason having those off, um, but, so I, but you don't really need those. I don't even think they do anything on this anyway. And then uh, MIDI drum mapping here. 
whenever you click on this, um, these are the converter files that tells utilities which profile that it needs to use to convert it properly. Oh, son of a bitch. By the way, if you uh, open this window up and for whatever reason X out, uh, this will crash and you'll have to start over. So uh, navigate your file manager with intent. That's all I can say. Next, you need to select the correct YAML file that will assign the correct MIDI profile to the track that you are converting from. So uh, to, to convert a Guitar Hero, you want to use Rhythm Game Mapping Guitar Hero .yaml. Notice the GH in the file. Notice how this one above it does not have GH in it. Those are for any non-Guitar Hero tracks. When you open that up, it should automatically direct you to the correct folder, and mine does not, so you just... By the way, if you're on the latest version of Utilities, the YAML file in the latest release of the Utility app is broken. Uh, I'm going to have a link in the description for the fixed map. You just kind of go to just go to wherever you downloaded the Pair Utilities app and then find MIDI maps and then replace the file in the description. Uh, just drag it in here and let, let it replace and uh, your conversions will work. I've mentioned this bug for like months now. It has not been fixed yet, so just grab the file. <laughs> It is in your GitHub folder under Pair Utilities and then MIDI Maps because um, like it'll crash every time you hit cancel or you don't select. Uh, so yeah, it's really annoying. So for just specifically Guitar Hero and back, meaning Guitar Hero 2, 1, etc., you want to use Rhythm Game Mapping Guitar Hero. Some Clone Hero maps will also require Guitar Hero, this Guitar Hero YAML. The, the one without the GH in it, you notice how, you notice how it has this little GH in it, it's for, it stands for Guitar Hero. Uh, this other one that does not have the GH in it, if you can probably guess, it is not for Guitar Hero charts, it is any other game. Uh, PD Tracks is for the Paradiddle built-in tracks, you will never need this at all, so just completely ignore this. And MIDI Mapping YAML, uh, watch my other video, you don't need this one at all either. Um, so just completely ignore both of these, do not delete them though, for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> the Utilities app will not function anymore if you remove these, so it's, I don't know, so just focus on these two. Guitar Hero, not Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero, not Guitar Hero. But if, I, if I'm being really honest, if you are trying to find a custom chart and you want to convert it into Paradiddle, please look for a phase shift chart before you look up any other chart to convert. They are so much more advanced. Guitar Hero, you're going to use a hi-hat as your, your left crash anyway, but they're really bad. I have a whole playlist um, that kind of just speaks for itself. So, And if you don't know, like I don't at all, I, I have no idea which this is from my guess. It is uh, not a phase shift track. My guess it's a rock band track, actually. So I'm going to head and go ahead and just use this. Regular. With, when in doubt, just use this one first. Go ahead and open it. And then this page, this tab is done. Then go over to your audio tracks. Select the song track tab. Within a lot of these, you may just see just a single guitar.ogg. Don't worry about the name of the file. Sometimes that is the entire song. It just says guitar because of the way that they packaged it together. It may just say song OGG, guitar OG, doesn't matter. If it has one file, put it in your song tracks, call it a day. Um, if it looks like this, uh, I, since I select my audio files, I want to just use the guitar, rhythm, song, and vocals. You do not want to put your drums on this side. So add my guitar and painstakingly do these one at a time. Oh, Parrot can just balk do this, by the way. I should not like point it out. And then go over to my drum tracks and select my drum tracks. It's literally like self-explanatory how to use this. There will never be any more than four drum tracks in any given circumstance ever. And there will only ever be at least five audio files. Not every custom will have separated drums. Just keep that in mind. And then once those are plugged in on your metadata, uh, for a while now, I, it kind of boggled my mind why everybody thought to put your own name for author. Uh, after rewatching the Paradiddle instructionals, I have, uh, well, this will include the song's title, artist name, author name, which should be your name, which, Which should, should be your name. Be your name. Your name. Be your name. 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 For author name, do not put your name. For fuck's sake. I, I know what you're thinking. You're done. You don't need, really care about any of this. Sit your ass back down. Sit your fucking ass back down and, and pay attention. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how, how could you, how could you do this? How could you how could you do this to me, Sam? Sam, it was you. You did this, Sam. How could you? I know you didn't know, but why? Not my boy. Whenever you're here, uh, go ahead and open up your song folder and then find your any file. It should have one. I uh, just click on it and then it'll show you all the information from that game. It'll tell you which game it came from. I just remembered that just now. Guitar Hero World Tour, apparently. I'm using the wrong YAML file. Noted.
But from here, you can just copy and paste uh, any of this information directly from this. It's a lot easier. Try not to have any periods or dashes or slashes anywhere because the song name will be the name of the folder whenever you convert it and you know how Windows be tripping. And then cover image, uh, same thing as every other file and add the cover image so you can, it's easier to find whenever you're going to select this in game. Now, if this is your file and you're using a MIDI file, you put your author name here, but if you're converting, you did not make that file, put the name of the game it came from. If you don't know which game it came from, there's this little boom, copy, paste, fucking nailed it. I just want to, make it very clear where this song came from. If you follow these steps exactly and you do it exactly the way that I said, and you don't fuck it up, it'll just work. Just go ahead and set your output folder. And I'm also going to just put this on my, uh, I'm going to put this in my song folder for pair edit so I can check out the map and then convert. Uh, first, actually, I want to make sure I uh, want to now select the correct YAML that I should have had previously and select the guitar hero chart now that uh, we know that this song came from Guitar Hero World Tour. Then hit convert. Okay, from the top. Complexity, uh, do what you want. I don't care. Song complexity, just do what you want. I don't care. For song complexity, just pick pick your favorite number between one through five. It doesn't matter. Boom, successful conversion. Nailed it. Uh, basically, if you have to, uh, if you do not select the correct file the first time, the first go around, this will crash. This will crash 100% of the time if you, do, if you have to cancel. If you have to cancel or select the wrong file, or have to go back and change anything afterwards, it will crash. So, like I said, navigate your files with intent. Uh, now, whenever you do this and you've converted these, leave this open so everything stays where it's at. Now, whenever you convert these, I like to convert them to my song folder that I use in ParaEdit. Please, for the love of God, check your maps in ParaEdit before you decide to post them. All you gotta do is toss it in your song folder for ParaEdit, Watch my last video if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Pop that in there, just drag it in, and it'll look like this. Just search it up, edit, JK, favorite if you want, edit, expert, edit level, and double check to make sure that everything is running smoothly and everything works and all the notes are where they should be. So, real easy way to do this. I explained in the last video how to do all this, so just so whenever you're here, move around. Using this bar at the bottom to navigate through the track, and we're I'm keeping my eye right here on this cursor to just look for whenever the drums kick in. So here they are. I'm gonna give it. A, I'm just gonna give it a listen and see how everything lines up. Another good thing to do, actually, even better. I'm going to go to back to the metadata screen right here. This thing it'll look like this, and go to spectrogram tracks, and then I'm going to just. Apparently, I'm missing a drum file. Whoops. Good thing I was checking it because I missed the file. Um, up here at the top left, there is the go to level folder. It will open up the folder, this custom folder for this track that has the RLRs in it. The fucking, and, and then in here, I noticed I may have missed the, uh, yeah, I missed, I forgot to add a drum track, but that's fine. Since I'm missing the drum track, I will just open up my original, uh, custom folder from Guitar Hero World Tour and just, I'm going to drag the missing file in here like this. In fact, when you do, whenever you convert these with this, you can literally just add in one of these files because of this just takes a long time. You can just add one of these whenever you convert to just to be faster. It's a lot quicker. And then use Paradit to just add the rest of them whenever you go to check it since you have to, since you should anyway. Uh, but for spectrogram tracks, I want to also add in only my drum tracks here so I can also see where the drums are whenever I'm checking this. And I'm just going to move just above a bit back. And scroll through till I find my drums. And you'll now notice that the, the spectrogram will have just drums. And the spectrogram will just reflect the files that you put in that box for the spectrogram tracks. And here you can see all my drums. And I'm looking through this and I'm looking at how everything lines up. And everything lines up really great. There's no sense in correcting any of these files because they're all bad anyway. There's no sense of trying to really correct this. You can if you want, and I will. Uh, so I'm not missing any drums, and everything seems to be have seems to have converted correctly. And uh, this one's good to go. Um, if you have used the wrong converter file, the wrong YAML file, you'll kind of tell. Oh, honey, no! I hate these conversions so much. Like Guitar Hero, how hard? How hard? How, how hard is it? How hard is it to do this? 
but everything checks out uh and it is uh ready to uh post to the db but i'm not going to this is this is this whole folder this is uh, this is unacceptable now, whenever you convert, check it's all good. Go ahead and uh, go back to your companion app, and then you can go ahead and, and convert the other difficulties. Just uh, select the hard, hit convert again. Select medium, hit convert again, just so until it's all done. Um, it should work if you don't touch anything. If you left everything exactly the way it was, it should be fine. It's never easy. It's never easy. I hate this software. Oh my god. Wait a minute, that's how you convert. 